So we don't get a lot around here when we live inside. But there's three parts to this rain gauge. This is the measuring tube. This is the measuring tube. This is the funnel. Funnels it into the tube. And this is the overflow tube. So in the summer, when we're you know having warm temperatures, inside and melt it and measure it. So we use this for rain and snow, getting water equivalent of the snow. Anybody has any rubber allergies, you don't want to touch these because this is like a neoprene rubber, but otherwise feel free to touch that and pass it around if you would like to. Cool. This is so like rubber gloves. Do they get holes a lot? Well what happens is we inflate those about the size of six feet in diameter. As it goes up in the atmosphere, the balloon gets bigger. Why does the balloon get bigger as it goes up in the atmosphere? You know? Why does the balloon get bigger as it goes higher in the atmosphere? Do you know? More air pressure. Okay. More air pressure? Well, you're right. Where, where is there more air pressure? Down here or up in the sky? Up in the sky. No, down here. Yeah, down here. <laughs> so inside the balloon, there's a constant amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. But as it goes up in the sky, there's less pressure. That balloon has to compensate for that. So to do so, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And as it gets big enough, um, about an hour and 45 minutes after we do the launch, it'll be as big around as the inside of this building. Wow. So That's pretty big. This is what the balloon is like. Can you? How high would that reach then when um, it finally? The typical height is about 19 miles. Wow. 100,000 feet, 33,000 meters, something like that. <laughs> so we have the balloon. We attach a parachute to the bottom of the balloon so when the balloon bursts, the parachute, the uh, the flight doesn't come down and injure somebody or somebody's property. That um, instrument that I showed you in there, the radio sign, they're not real heavy, but they can, they could do a little bit of damage. So we got to account for that. This is going to, can be a little noisy. Touching that with my hand because mm -hmm. the oils on your hand can affect the balloon to where it could burst prematurely, and we don't want that to happen. So we use this bag. We use helium here in this office to get us the lift, but a lot of offices use hydrogen. Does anybody know the difference between the two? There's one major difference between helium and hydrogen. Helium is a Okay, they're both, they're both going to be what they call um, a lighter than air gas. Anybody ever heard of the Hindenburg? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I have. <laughs> the Hindenburg had a bunch of hydrogen in it because it was a big balloon and it started on fire because hydrogen is a flammable gas. Helium is an inert gas, so it is not going to burn. I can ride a match to this, and nothing's going to happen. It's going to burn the rubber. But if I did that with a hydrogen balloon, the whole building would explode. So this is much safer to work with. Awesome! Is that what that little one you have to grab it tight to it? Kind of? No! Okay, so there's our balloon, or I mean a parachute if anybody wants to see that. Oh. 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 